Welcome to that lecture online and now we're going to take a look at a colligative property called osmosis. Osmosis is a really important process in nature, especially when it comes to life itself because without osmosis, life as we know it today probably wouldn't exist. So what is osmosis? Well, osmosis is a very strange process where a liquid will transfer across a what we call a semi-permeable membrane. And the way it does is that the liquid will transfer from one direction to another direction more uh, in higher concentration and higher amounts, not concentration per se, but in higher amounts. For example, there will be transfer of molecules across this membrane in both directions, but there will be more of a transfer from the lower concentration to the higher concentration solution. And what we mean by that is, of course, on the left side, we'll have a very dilute solution or a pure solvent. For example, pure water, and on the other side we have water with a solute uh, dissolved in it. And we could have, of course, on the left side, a, 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 a liquid or a solution that contains water, the solvent, and a small amount of solute so that the concentration of solute is a lot less on this side than it is on that side. If there is a difference in the concentration, more water molecules will travel from the lower concentration to the higher concentration than from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. And we'll get into why the, the, it does that later. We just want to understand the principles here. So what happens then is as more water molecules transfer from the left side to the right side, you end up with more solution on this side. And of course, the solution can only go in one direction. And since there's an open pipe here, the solution will just go in the open pipe. And what happens now is you're going to have a pressure differential. The pressure difference between the left side and the right side is determined by the height of this water column. The difference in height from this column to this column. And if you go back to your basic physics, you know that the pressure caused by a a uh, column of water or column of solution is equal to the density of the solution times acceleration to gravity times the height. So that would be the pressure difference. That's called the osmotic pressure caused by this procedure, this, this uh, osmosis. So on the left side we have a dilute solution or a pure solvent. On the right side we have a concentrated solution and more water molecules will go this way and no solute molecules will go from right to left. The reason why that is usually the case is because the openings or the membrane is not permeable by the larger, typically larger, uh, solute molecules and it's permeable to the smaller water or solvent molecules. So therefore you have more traffic going this way, less traffic going this way. Now, when the two sides have an equal concentration, of course, there would be no osmosis because then you have the same amount of water molecules travel from right to left as from left to right, and so there would be no difference, no pressure difference, and so everything would stay the same. When that happens, we call that, that the solutions are isotonic. But if one side has a higher concentration than the other side, like in this example here, the side with the higher concentration, we call that hypertonic. So this is hypertonic, and if on this side, on the left side, there's less concentration, so therefore we call this hypotonic solution. So this is a hypertonic, hypotonic, if they're both the same, we call them isotonic. Now, many substances in nature, and as well as artificial substances, do have the ability to act as a semi-permeable membrane. Matter of fact, in nature, just about all the walls of most animal and plant cells are semi-permeable, which means they can pass water, or they will, not just that they can, but they will pass water, which is the typical solvent in nature, from the lower concentration to the higher concentration, either into the cell or out of the cell, and in later videos we'll show you what the result of that is, and sometimes there's good results from that, and sometimes there's detrimental results, and so we'll give you a little bit more insight into that. So all we have to know now is that osmosis occurs when you have a semi-permeable membrane, when there are on both sides of the membrane solutions, on one side less concentrated solution, on the other side a higher concentrated solution, osmosis means that water molecules or solvent molecules will travel from the lower solution, concentration solution to the higher concentration solution, causes a pressure difference between them, which can be measured in a case like this. In this example, we could measure by simply measuring the height of this additional column there. Pressure is density times the acceleration to gravity times the height. Now, we can also think of it, how do we stop this osmosis? Well, it can actually be stopped by applying a pressure. If we apply a pressure there equal to the osmotic pressure, then the movement will now equalize. So we can actually physically stop osmo osmosis 
by applying sufficient pressure on this side to stop the, tr the predominant travel from left to right or from lower concentration to higher concentration solution in this process. All right, now hopefully you have the basics at your command, you understand what the basics are. Now we'll show you a whole bunch of examples and we also will show you why this happens in the first place and we'll show you how to calculate the pressure difference and the amount of liquid that will go from one side to the other side and so forth in the future videos. So stay tuned if you're interested in this.